Hey, all right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. All right, here it goes. Listen to me. Think about the world that you live in. Think about the environment. It's obvious that there's something going on in climate change. I mean, after all, uh, up north, they didn't get nowhere near the snow that they should have been getting. Uh, we're watching prices continually keep going up. I have to come back and continually keep making videos like this just so it can it keeps us to the fire. You know, a lot of times when you have people reminding you of things that you should be doing, uh, because we all have a tendency to let things slip. Um, you can't depend on this world or this government to take care of you. How many of you remember Hurricane Katrina and you remember the disaster that that was? I'm not talking about just economically. I'm just talking about just literally depending on the government to take care of you. Did you see those people? If you didn't see those people, if you can, take time, get on YouTube and, and type in Hurricane Hurricane Katrina. Uh, I think, yeah, Katrina. It's that with a K. Um, check that out. I want you to see the deplorable conditions that humans find themselves in simply because they wouldn't prepare for themselves. And they always depended upon somebody else to be there and do it for them. And of course, when you depend on somebody else, i.e. the government and somebody to, to do it for you, you'll see the deplorable conditions you find yourself in. Um, whether we like it, comprehend it, understand it or not, you can't really truly depend on the benevolence uh, of humanity. Uh, whenever there's disaster, a lot of people use that as an opportunity to exploit you or your home. You know, it, it, even it happened out there in Oregon. It don't make any sense. Oregon, California, uh, Louisiana, makes no difference where you're at. Uh, and some people or somebody is always there to try to use your misfortune to capitalize on it and become an entrepreneur for themselves. It's sad. It really, really, truly is sad that when a town is evacuated or something like that, people use that as a time to go loot. And that's just the world we live in. Whether we like it or not, there are bad guys in the world, so you need to protect yourself. So you need to learn how to arm yourselves, protect yourself, and gain skills. You need to store food and store good, clean water just so you don't have to depend on the government, the Red Cross, or anybody else to assist you in these disasters that take place here on this earth. Um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. It really, truly is. It's sad that the heart and the conditions of humanity, men, they're growing colder and colder and colder and colder. And I want to say something right here. I want you to listen to me. Have you ever taken an assessment where you at right now in life? Have you ever really truly thought? And, and then for those of you who are preparing, do you have any gratefulness for what somebody else is, has done in order to make sure that you are protected in life, to make sure you are provided for in case something went down? Have you ever thought about that? Have you ever thought about those in front of you are positive influences and, and show you by an example of hard work, due diligence, and effort? How they want to just benefit you, educate you, uh, get you ready. I said all that to say, when's the last time you went out and stored some food, purchased a canned good? Remember, the old people, they used to can stuff. they grow food all spring and summer, and then they would can in fall and then they would store it up for the winter and be able to eat but guess what you know what else they had they had something we didn't have health they didn't have a lot of these sicknesses all these diseases that are going on today man it's an epidemic here in the united states of america but our grandparents and them you ever notice that they live long time you ever notice that mother beasley was just down here 92 years old just down get, came all the way from ohio her and jermaine her and brother Jermaine, 92 years old. She, she came up to music practice. She sits in the dining hall to the wee hours of the night speaking with sisters. And I mean, just beautiful. Can you imagine that? And, and everybody, you know, in this generation go, well, my parents was 99 years old. My parents were 98. And, and here they are, 50 and 60 years old, and they look like they're about ready to die. Listen, you shouldn't be riddled with sicknesses and diseases. You shouldn't be a diabetic at 40 years old. You shouldn't. You're going to have to start taking care of yourself. You're responsible for yourself. Take more and better care of yourself than you do your own car. Prepare yourself. Because if you don't prepare, 
Somebody's prepared to take what you got. And that's why it's very important that you surround yourself by people who have the same like mind as you do. Because whether you like it or not, think about this. Are you really truly ready for the next disaster that takes place? <laughs>